This is called the Lotus Sleep Sleep Dance. She's resisting sleep. She's in a grumpy mood, old grumpy man mood. So we turn on some music and then she finally fell asleep. But don't even dare putting her down. She hasn't been grumpy for them, to her defense. In her defense, she hasn't been grumpy the last few days. She never cries during the day, and she yesterday she was in a good mood even in the evening. We did baby massage, just quiet activities that she loves. She loves baby massage. Hello, girls. Hi, girlies. Oh, you so cute, you girlies. Yeah, you guys. So looky, look at this, guys. What came in the mail? Oh, that's for baby. That's Alicia Silverstone's uh, company's uh, B12, which I ordered. That's the TV I get because it's really good value. I'll link it below. It's really good value for this. This is four ounces of pure stevia, organic and non, not. It's not cut with anything, so it's just pure stevia extract. So this has 2,500 servings. So we're talking 2,500 servings. So and it was under $20, so it's really good value. It will last you probably forever. And um, this is. I'll open it and show you what this is. But this is Lori's first jewelry piece from Grandma. And what is this? Oh, this is so exciting. Maybe I'll show you tomorrow. It's a coffee filter for pour over coffee. Can't wait to do it. And this is a new baby powder that I'm trying. Look how big this is. I have big hands. I'm a big, I'm a big girl. And this is massive. This is literally one kilo, I think. It's a vegan, all natural, gluten free, and organic. Yes, mama. You're gonna be having some of it. And um, yeah, I got this company just to try it out. I've never tried this one. I'm assuming it's probably about the same. What do you think, Sophie? This is uh, Lottie's for a jewelry piece. It's amber teething necklace, and this is also a teething necklace. And that's for her from her grandma Barbara because she had given me a, a gift card for my birthday. This is what I got. I got her little amber necklace. Actually, uh, amber necklaces are for um, inflammation. So if you have any inflammation in the body and pain, uh, the rubbing on the skin has um, anti-inflammatory properties, so you can wear it even as an adult, and apparently they're pretty effective for babies. I'll, I'll let you know how it's working. She actually doesn't have, she stopped having teething uh, symptoms the last few nights. She's been in a good mood and we've been sleeping. So uh, we'll see. I'm sure we're gonna have teething issues soon again because there is a lot of teeth. <laughs> I have to come out. come out, but that's my order. What are you up to, Lotus? Huh? Are you up to doing something? Huh? What are you up to? I am looking at something called cryptocurrency market capitalization. It's a website. It's also it's actually called the uh, Coin Market Cap. Um, but it's pretty interesting because I've been um, in the cryptocurrencies, mainly Bitcoin, since 2011, so it's been a wild ride. But I actually just like to sit and watch it too, in terms of what it's doing. Um, yesterday I had a massive crash. Bitcoin, I think it was up around 2,900 and dropped to like 22, something like that. And then what's interesting is this coin called Ethereum. 
um, just in like a few months ago it was ten dollars so now it's almost at four hundred dollars and just a, just a few weeks ago um, it was around 250 I think just two weeks ago so it's making a massive run I've never seen anything like it I don't even think Bitcoin had that kind of run but you know the reason these things are blowing up right now is because uh, everyone's anticipating another financial meltdown like 2008 so people are just looking I think for somewhere to put their money into but um, this this is an, definitely an emerging market and it's an it's you know people are considering a new asset class so it's very exciting very interesting there's a lot of cool things going on so that is yes. a uh, tofu scramble <laughs> no, burrito no believe me because <laughs> what, 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 what would come from this what is that it's avocado toast avocado toast his mom's yeah. moving here with her husband and he was like hey I would, I'm gonna get a lot of land I went to uh, uh, brunch with some editors that I used to work with one of the guys he's working with someone they're trying to get farmland in LA and <clears throat> they're, they're creating these beds where they're only growing hydroponic bananas and moringa. And moringa is, I think it's known as the, the, salad, the salad tree or something. You know, the combination of b banana and moringa is everything you need to live on. Uh, and this is hydroponic, so they're able to do mass amounts of it. But uh, he, he said this guy, is, he's just got a little small plot of land, and he's got it down to where he's growing, like, um, watercress and kind of these specialty items where uh, he's making, like, $1,000 a week. Uh, at the farmers market, so it's pretty cool. And then there's a couple guys, you know, they, they, everyone's just got their own thing. So at the table, you know, everyone's excited about stuff. You know, everything from social media, um, even editing's changing because more one-hour dramas are coming into place. I think reality TV is dying. So there's just a lot of changes coming about, and there's a lot of opportunities. So it's, this whole thing is pretty exciting. Hey, uh, Ali, they, they turned the saws on across the street, so I think that's probably a good time for you to start the yoga class. Um, and then hopefully the dog will start barking and we'll get some more airplanes passing over top. So that'll be a perfect yoga class. So I'm on a quick mission to um, go buy jackfruit. This store is like 10 miles away from me, so it's quite a treat. I have to time it out. I, I just bait, uh, load in the yard, in the sun. Or The funny thing is I never came here uh, or came here once before loading. Now that I don't have time, I've been coming here every couple months. Little educational piece. Unfortunately, this guava smells so good, but check this out. They're radiated, and you look for this sign on the label that means irradiated. Oh, yeah, there it is. It means it's been irradiated. Pretty bad for you. There it is. She Bulgarian feta. I'm not getting milky products, but they have it. It's a 32 pound monster, 32 pounds, imagine this, crazy. So this is how the bad the situation is. I haven't gone shopping since pregnancy and this shirt is from Loli. Loli Miller, she gave me three shirts that don't fit her anymore and that's the only thing that fits me. So soon I'll be taking you shopping with me. So I hit one more storm. That's very aggressive. I didn't hit it, I just went to it. Um, but I um, just finished with it and I got some cool stuff so I've been everybody keeps asking about iron when when you're vegan um, 
I've been getting 300% of my iron needs, daily iron needs, as a breastfeeding person, uh, mother. So that's actually way higher needs. And it's been from vegetables, fruits, and also I've been getting olives and desalting them twice. So I don't know if you can tell those are the green Sicilian. I'll soak them in two or three type, times water so to get the salt out. Packed in iron and low sodium, big black olives. And I make a drink with this uh, sea buckthorn juice. And let me show you actually what's in it. Uh, you can in the back. It's just sea buckthorn press and nothing else. And in the back, look at the calories. It's almost half the calories from fat. And this is omega threes, the very valuable omega threes. You see pure juice from well, harvest, hand harvested sea buckthorn berries. That's from Armenia ingredients organic juice and puree because the puree is more fatty that's why the fat and it's literally just omega trees and, and it has a rare omega 7s 9s and some omega, omega 6 which are not rare there it is and a massive bag of cucumbers Persian organic cucumbers Sophie you ready for a walk are you ready for a walk yes Lotus are you ready for a walk Sophie, where are you going? Sophie's trying to catch up to that golden retriever up there. I don't even know what she'd do if she catches up because she got attacked by a golden retriever when we were camping and she doesn't like golden retrievers anymore. Come on, Sophie. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Does it have aroma? A little bit. What is it? It's just your floral. The leaves almost look like jasmine leaves. I don't know what that is. But it's a tree. It looks like um, it looks like a Bulgarian thing. I, I forget the name. I had this dream, and Ali, being the, the dream analyzer, she is. She basically broke it down for what it was. But it, it was, I was in a house, and um, Robert Redford was the host. And he was all into me and like showing me around is all these old 60s rock stars and all these people and my family members were there too like my grandma who passed away a few years ago even people that are alive too like my brother my mom was there um and so she was saying like you know explain robert redford and when i explained him it turned out to be my father who passed away a couple years ago <clears throat> and Whenever I dream about my dad, I get emotional about it. So, so it was almost like he disguised himself, so I didn't get emotional about it. And I went deeper into this dream. And then when I woke up from the dream, it was like, I think, 5 in the morning and the sun was coming up. So when I woke up, I had this like kind of magical feeling because of the fact, like, it was, it was almost like this kind of like death realm. And, and in that realm, like, everybody I knew and know was there. And then, you know, when I came out of the dream, the birds were chirping and the, and the sun was coming out. And this is this real magical feeling in terms of, you know, coping with, with death and stuff like that. Uh, the realization I've been having is that our consciousness is eternal and we're all running in and out of a continuum. So, so the people that have passed that you knew, you still continue, you still continue your relationship with them. And, and love, is the, uh, love is the thing that eternally binds us. In, in terms of questioning whether there's other lives, they say, uh, bless you. They say, uh, they say, you know, do you, do you remember your birth? And people say no. And they say, well, then how would you remember your death? And that's like, we, we have this, we have this eternal for, forgetting. We're forgetting things because our we're being. It's a protection mechanism because we, our consciousness is vast, but our mind here is not ready to grasp it all, so it's, it's a veil in symbols. So the way I understood his dream, and it was obvious to me, but not obvious to him, because he was he was protecting himself from being emotional, so he can go through the experience. It was, I'm like, who is Robert Redford? I mean, I kind of remember the guy, but I'm asking him, who is he? And he's born at the... Uh, the year that his dad was born in and then he 
said, oh, we watched the last movie we watched from him. He's a doctor. And Johnny Depp is, was a doctor. Our consciousness protects itself uh, from understanding the vastness of reality through symbols. It basically veils things in symbols so we can we can kind of deal with them without fully like fully damaging the earth. The mind will explode if, if the mind understands everything. I don't think it's the mind. It's it's the body that it's the body. Yeah, the the brain. I mean the mind yeah. brain, uh, not the mind. Like the way you understand mind is you you when you say mind, you always refer to the eastern concept, and I refer to the western. So that's why when I say mind, I mean your physical mind contained in your brain. But but it seems like to me that through lives, uh, the reason we feel such deep love in, through, for each other, like in specific relationships, is because those are those are actually remembered relationships that are eternal. Yeah. And and the love is the love is the energy, and and the and the remembering of that relationship. Because what will happen is your body will break down, and you'll you'll launch it, your consciousness will launch into et eternalness. And then again, you'll forget the relationship, except the only thing that binds that relationship is the love. Yeah. And then, and then, and then, a grief is a byproduct of the love. Yeah. On Instagram, I've been uh, kind of contemplating uh, that that the, fa the the invisible thread that is interwoven into the fabric of reality and existence is joy. It's just natural to uh, all humans. Uh, that's not. That, that's our natural state. Plus, I've read that in the I Ching too. It says that humans are naturally joyous. All humans, to, to come into the human state, you're, you're, you're going to be born with, with joy. Yeah, and that's why babies are like this. You see them, they're so joyous. It's their natural state. But there's also something about babies when they cry so uh, profoundly. It, it seems like we also feel the pain that's out there in the world. That's the body sat for. Uh, feeling it's just there is this profound suffering in the world and we're also interconnected so if there's one person suffering we're all suffering that type of thing if there is a crime con committed towards you know cows we're all feeling it we're all feeling the sadness so but those both things are always at our that they're always there joy is interwoven into the fabric of reality we always have it in our disposal to feel joyous and and that's why when we jump that's why I, I that's why I even wanted jumping in my yoga that's why I included it I find it to be absolutely important jumping like a child with joy uh, it's it's in our it's in our DNA that's who we are we're joy we're pure joy bravo blissful joy la joya <laughs>